But I'm not the one whose bones will be licked clean come the dawning of the sun. Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. I'm live right now and hopefully you're watching live. If not, don't worry about it. You can catch it on the replay. I have Jabbering Jack with me and I have a bunch of fun candy. It's Halloween time. So I wanted to share some fun Halloween stuff. I'm just lowering Jabbering Jack. So talkative. So Jabbering Jack right here has three traditional um, spooky pumpkin jack-o'-lantern dudes that you can interact with so there's traditional spooky and funny so the first one is the traditional one the mid the, the second one is the funny one because kind of like wacky looking and then the third one is spooky she's really 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 spooky and kind of creepy but i have some fun candy too that i'm gonna unbox and share with you guys i want you to check out jabbering jack this is a really, really fun, interesting Halloween decor piece. It has an internal projector inside, so it can um, sh display all of these fun and neat um, projections. This is the funny guy. He sells, he says like funny like things and things like that. But who needs brains anyways? Everyone knows two plus two equals two. <laughs> he's supposed to be fun for the kids you can actually display him indoors it's recommended that he stays indoors however if you do have a covered porch you can totally display him outdoors underneath that porch um away from the elements and things like that so he also sings and like um has like fun uh music these are all original songs too so it's like over 70 minutes of songs jokes interactions things like that as far between me and all those other Halloween decorations, I know when you're talking about me. <laughs> as far as um, decorations go, this is a really, really fun and interesting Halloween decoration. You don't have to worry about it ever rotting, even though it says a lot of rotten things. It's never going to rot on you. Um, it has really fun gourd at the top that doesn't break we have the speaker over here in the back is the actual projector everything is contained inside the actual jack-o-lantern itself which makes it really really cool it looks even better when it's in the dark you could check out my shorts where i had it like um on in the dark the reason why i'm doing this video live is because when i film it and when i edit it the sounds of jabber and jack i can't really pick up so because i usually film with my like headset on and things like that and I don't really want to like set up a whole mic system just for this dude because he's so simple and easy right out of the box. Take him out. Has everything that you need. You could purchase it on Mindscope's website. I put all that information in my description below. It has the USB adapter and some of them I'm pretty sure they all include the actual USB adapter for the wall, like the wall jack. The one that I have included the wall jack adapter. The one on Amazon said it does not include it. The one on Mindscope says it does include it. I'm really confused. However, it does everything you need for Halloween. This is something that you could use year after year where you can always have an interactive, fun Halloween decor that your kids are going to remember year after year. Like, oh, hey, get Jabber and Jack out. It's Halloween time. Super duper fun. There are three controls on here. So we have volume control to raise up the volume. Then on the other end is the volume control to lower the volume. Then there's a skip uh, button over here. So you could skip and toggle through each of the displays. And over here is the... Um, projector that you can see inside you can't actually take it out there's the on and off switch and this is the usb wire so it doesn't require batteries it's basically um everything that you need comes right in the box and it looks really really cool i love it so definitely check it out while i'm talking about i'm gonna unbox some candy open up some kinder joy or whatever um, i'm not a fan of kinder joy and i don't even like these toys to be quite honest they're not like fun i scan them into the app though which is the only cool saving grace about it um you can actually scan it into the app and play um fun games add in your new characters and then you'll be able to um play with them What's cool about these also is that you can actually switch these bodies around so you can create fun and unique um, figures. Just before you do it, though, you have to um, add in the string. Oh, I'm doing it wrong already. And you have like a little like fun like Halloween ornament. So 
Hi everyone watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much in the algorithm. And don't forget to check out Jabbering Jack. Jabbering Jack actually sent me Jabbering Jack, or Mindscope sent me Jabbering Jack to unbox and review. And I unboxed it like in my shorts. But I feel like he didn't get enough love. He's got to have some more love. Halloween is coming. I have pen mark on my hand. Halloween is coming. If you're looking for some fun, unique decor that's like totally simple, easy, gets you in the Halloween spirit without having to like, you know, go crazy and decorate so many different things, you got Jabber and Jack. He's easy. One, two, three, out of the box. Plug him in. You're done. Happy Halloween. Again, if you have a covered porch, he's perfect for outdoor display. You could plug him right in and then you could spook the kids too. It's really interactive and he has like this kind of like um, this talkback quality, even though he's not interactive where he picks up your voice or anything like that. It kind of feels like he is talking to you the way he pauses and things like that. Cool, we got a little jack-o'-lantern ghost or Frankenstein jack-o'-lantern, pretty cute. Um, this over here is the checklist and how to build him. Fun things you could do with him. You could also download the um, a Play Do Kinder app. It's a free app. You just scan in your figure and you'll be able to add him to your collection, which is really cool. Yeah, he sings and stuff like that. It has over 70 minutes of like songs and just like interactive jokes and sayings and things like that. And it looks really, really good. Like I have a bunch of lights on Jabber and Jack right now and it looks awesome. Like you don't even have to have it play. You can have it set to just show these images and project these images so you don't like have it like on like in the middle of the night and get totally creeped out that Jabber and Jack is going to start yelling at you while you're watching <laughs> TV or something. Here's my little um, Frankenstein pumpkin. Here are the other ones that you can get. He's actually really cute. I like him. So these are all little jack-o'-lanterns. And don't forget, you can mix and match the parts. We did get a red one. We got the spooky cat one. But my son taxed that. I have no idea where it went. I did unbox him in shorts. So you could totally check that out. I have this as well. This is pretty old. Oh, my gosh. I bought this, like, last year during COVID where we went to go see... Um, was it last year? No, it was earlier this year. We went to go see the Easter Bunny and at the mall. And I'm like, okay, let me go let me go see this. I am not eating this chocolate. I just want to see what's inside. Even though the chocolate looks pretty good. Maybe I will eat the chocolate. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think it expired. Let me put this over here. Sweet. We got a nice surprise inside. Ooh, it's something to build. It looks like what the heck is this? Oh my goodness. Why do I get like the most hard <laughs> things to build with these things? Okay, let's check this out. Pretty interesting. I got a bunch of stickers. What the heck did I get here? I was hoping for like a little figure. Oh, this is fun. So we have like this little swatch of different LOL dolls. Wow, pretty cool. So it's like, hey, look in my pocket. I got this to show you my swatch of LOLs interesting so you just snap these on here let's put the stickers on i don't even know who half of these girls are i gotta be honest i used to really really like lol not interested in them anymore i don't know what it is it's just like just too many of them now way too many too many dolls and things like that i prefer like i love crybabies i think they're so stinking cute love crybabies what other dolls do i love? i love hair adorables this guy's telling the joke again I'm just cycling through. I don't want to shut him off. I just want to have the sound off. But he does randomly turn on. So there is a way to just set it. You just have to look at the directions where he's just singing. I forgot her name. Yeah, I don't collect them anymore. Um, I do love learning about them and seeing them um, at like toy fairs and things like that. But as far as buying them, I don't buy them anymore. I don't know if do you buy them anymore. Do you still collect them? I mean, they have a lot of cool dolls, like the high school dolls. Those versions are pretty cool. Really, really, really cute. I can't see if anybody's commenting because I'm on my phone. And I would love to hear from you guys. So let me know if you're here. Okay, let's take a look at those instructions, if there are any. I got one more. I got the Little Mermaid. These look to be like, what, Series 1, Series 2, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Okay, now let's get those instructions. And let's see. So step one, attach each one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's see. I can't, I can't imagine how this is fun. I could be wrong. Although when I was a kid, whenever I had chocolate, I never had a surprise inside, like ever. So that's why I think that's, it's cool. It's like a nice concept. Although I did love getting stuff from the gumball machine, getting like a quarter um, capsule of slime was definitely a highlight for me back in the day. And that slime lasted a long time because you put it right back in the capsule when you were done. It had like, I cannot get this on. It had like these little like um, little chunks in it sometimes. You knew it was good slime when it had those little beads inside. I cannot get this. I'm so sorry, guys. It's supposed to look like, I guess, a swatch of your LOLs. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's clean this mess up. We got all this chocolate over here. Cannot get this going for the life of me. Let's open up Yoki's. I haven't opened up Yoki's in a long, long, long time. These are the mystery collectible figures. These are so stinking cute. There's candy slime inside, but there's also these little miniature eggs. And they're they're so adorable. I wish these actually took off. These are actually by Redwood Ventures. Same company that makes Smushy Mushy. Um, they're a lot of fun. And um, let me see if anybody's commenting. Anybody? I can't see. Difference between me oh. and all those other Halloween <laughs> I know when you're talking about me. Do you? I've been talking about you this whole time. So this is the mystery collectible figure. And these were so good. Like the candy was so good too. And just reminded me like that old style jelly candy from like the 80s and the 90s that you would buy like the bodega. Now they sell them. They look like little jello shots. Now they do sell them in stores. Um and they're kind of hard to find. I mean, I, know, I think Showcase actually sells it. If you shop at Showcase, they're, um, they're available in Canada. And they do have some stores in New York, like in Staten Island, that I noticed. But I've never actually gone inside. So here is the adorable egg. And inside over here, I don't know why that's open. That's something new. Let's see if I can get this going. Oh, my God. Why can't I take it off? I can't take it off. I can't take it off. Come on. Okay, let me open it like that. Duh, that makes sense. Okay, so inside we have the yummy jelly candy. And on the bottom is our little capsule dude. I don't know why, that, well, I don't know why I'm having so many technical difficulties. Okay, so let's check out the candy. And this candy's mad good too. Like it has like a little gummy in there. And you like eat it like a shot. I'm not going to eat it. It's really old, but it looks like yolk. Like I'll like put it in my hand. Look at this. It looks like, literally looks like egg yolk. How crazy is that? I don't know why I did this because right now I have candy in my hand. Hold on. I have to get rid of it. And <laughs> it looks like egg yolk. It is so sticky, but it smells, it smells really, really good. Oh my gosh. I have to wash my hands really quick. Oh my God. That is so nasty to put in your hand like that, especially. I'm back. Yeah, so that is really gross. If you want to get that, you need like a spoon or something to eat it. Um, it has that like jelly um, inside to make it look like a raw egg. And then over here, whoa, is where you would find your little little egg dude he's so cute i love these they're so they're so tiny they're like these little chibi eggies these would be like guditama's like little babies if he wasn't lazy enough to find a partner <laughs> oh my gosh we have a little cherry oh my gosh they're so cute and what i love about these cute little eggies is the fact that you could take out these little yokies i think they're called yokies and you pull out the yolk and then you could switch them up and they could change expressions and be super cute. They are so adorable. Uh oh, I lost his face. They're so cute. And they're kind of squishy. They have like a little squishiness to them. They are really adorable. And they're very, very, very tiny. And it's a really fun and neat incentive to get some candy and to get this little Yoki. Whoa, I did tell the company, I said, why can't you include a spoon like you did with your foodie surprise. And they, I don't know, they never told, they never talked to me again after that. I have no idea. But anyway, I haven't worked with Redwood in a long time. <sighs> Last time I worked with Redwood was for Moonlight. So Moonlight is a fun, 
um, like thing for kids, like a storybook thing, an interactive storybook thing. Spin Master used to make it, but I guess Moonlight bought the license. But here is our little Yoki. It's so stinking cute. Love it. Okay, let me get a nap. Let me keep a towel. So gross. Normally, like, I don't know. I'd be a little bit more prepared. I just jumped on here because I'm like, let me just get Jabber and Jack some love. I don't have any love for Jabber and Jack. He's so cool. We need some love for him. Let's open up another Kinder Joy Halloween themed one. Maybe we won't get a different one so we can mix them up. I'm saving the chocolate for my kids when they get home from school. Nice little surprise. They don't really care much for these toys. They prefer the chocolate over anything. <gasps> we got a different one. Oh my gosh. And we got a, dra um, a vampire. Pumpkin. I'm just going to leave this off for now and save some time. Speaking of scooping, like, think about it. You can have your own pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern without having to scoop out the, the insides. You don't have to worry about it ever rotting. You could take him out all the time. I mean, all every year, rather. Not all the time, but every year. How cute is this? So you can scan this dude. You, well, then you could scan this guy into your app. And then you'll be able to um, play with him. So stinking cute. Then you could mix and match the actual body parts if need be. My hands are so wet right now. Let me let my hands dry and then I will switch them so I don't mess up the actual um, stickers. But they're really, really cute. And in case you were looking for other versions of these little Yokies here, the other ones is a cactus. There's a fish, ice cream cone, milk, things like that. Super duper cute. Let's open up these pop-ups. I'm sorry, it's so loud. In New York, it's just loud. So that's what that my life is, constantly loud noises. Here is Poppets. Pop-ups, rather. These are pop-up lollipops. And this one is Cinderella. If you're looking for some fun, neat things to put into the Easter basket... These things are super duper fun and there's no like electronics required it comes with three lollipops but the lollipops are pretty good because they're chupa chups and really 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 fun so you just load it like this and you gotta take the wrapping off you take the wrapping off load it and then you can enjoy and you know what's cool about it it has a cover on it so unless like unless you don't want to like finish the actual lollipop you just want to have a few like licks on it and put it away it just you can keep it totally safe i cannot get this off for the life of me i haven't opened up a lollipop in god knows how long then what the heck is wrong with me today so let's get this off oh my lord my son could like rip off these lollipop wrappers like like nothing oh my god yeah i got this actually at big lots a whole bunch of disney stuff there i had this all this cute disney stuff when i was there here's a lollipop let me try it pretty good so why aren't you going in there we go so now we have um cinderella we have a cinderella pr disney princess pop-up and she looks like she has like a little like she's like all this filigree here this little pearl accents around really 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 pretty and like I said, if you don't want to finish it in one fell swoop, you can store it inside here and keep it totally safe and fun. It comes with three lollipops, super duper fun. Nice little addition for lollipop collection too. Kind of like Pez, like they're totally becoming like Pez, these like little pop-up things. More Halloween fun stuff. I don't know if you guys are into Cats vs. Pickles. I love them. These are so fun. This is actually Skelly Cat, number 37. Sorry, buddy. Um, it says, no bones about it. Skelly Cat is frighteningly sweet. And they're super duper fun. Another really cool idea to put inside the Halloween basket instead of candy. These are really adorable. They usually sell them at Walmart. You can get them at um, on Amazon. Walgreens has them now. So you can find them any anywhere. The whole story is um, it's called Cats vs. Pickles. There's also an app. So you could scan over here download the free app, which is kind of challenging for me. I can't get to it. My, hu my husband, my son is at like level 80. I'm still on level two, but he is really, really good at it. But they're so stinking cute. Cats vs. Pickles sent these to us and saw it. And I'm like, I got to conclude that. Next, this is like my new favorite unboxing favorite. These are the Stay Puff Marshmallows Ghostbuster Mini Puff Surprise. They are awesome. It's for the new um, 
obviously for the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that's coming out in November. Um, it doesn't specifically say that, but it's in celebration of that. I unboxed, these are not the Hasbro ones. These are actually by Cryptozoic, and I unboxed these. They're going to be on a short, so I gave that one away. But anyway, I'm so glad I got the Safe Puff Marshmallow Man for Cryptozoic. But anyway, you can find these now at Target. They are really awesome. The slime actually rocks, which is, it's a lot of fun. It's that slime that's like kind of melty and... Sorry, excuse me. Um, it's kind of melty, so you have to like really work it to get it all that like um, activator to come to life again. But I love that it has it's in like its own little play-doh can, um, and it's really nice slime. Um, it's actually the slime is a, a surrounding the actual uh, blind bag, so it kind of reminds me of the those kitty things that Hasbro made. I forgot the name of them. If you remember them, let me know in the comments where they had the compound kitties. I forgot the name. I don't remember. Anyway. Okay, let's get this dude out of the blind bag. Get that bag out of here. Save the slime. Oh no, I got slime everywhere. I got slimes. No. It'd be cool if the slime was actually green, like Slimer, but that wouldn't make any sense because it wouldn't be Stay Puff slime then. But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's so wet, but it has a really great consistency. Like, I really love this slime. It's so awesome. Really, really good slime. And I bought this at Target. Really, really nice. Let's see if it makes some nice fart sounds. Really got to work it to get those bubbles. I love the bubbles. Can't get, oh, I just got one. Some dude screaming outside. Like, Come on, man. I'm doing it live here. Talking about Jabber and Jack. Okay, let's see who we got. Over here is um, the famous ghost, the Ghostbusters logo. This feels like a different one this oh my gosh it looks like we got a melting marshmallow man oh my gosh that's so cool so there's six to collect in all so far i've gotten um the chocolate one the melting one and that's it so i had two thought i had more this is so awesome i'm so glad i did not get a duplicate so super cool you could take out that slime really 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 good compound place them in here and look how cool that looks I love it. So awesome. Now that my hands are a little bit not as wet, I can switch these dudes now so you could get an idea of how. I can't even do it. I have like no fine motor skills, whatever. They're switched. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to sign off now. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my live, whoever is here. I really appreciate it. This is Jabberin' Jack. He's in stores now, mindscope.com. You could check out my description to find out more about him. He has over 70 minutes of fun, um, original songs, um, really fun and hilarious interactions. Great Halloween toy if you're looking for, not even a toy, but a Halloween decor that'll last a long time. You don't necessarily have to, like, keep him. Um, like, you don't have to take care of them. You just plug them in and just turn them on. Looks so much better, too, at night, honestly. So super cool. Again, three different styles of jack-o'-lantern. We have the traditional, we have funny, and we have spooky one. The spooky one says a lot of funny, scary things. Like, so beware. Just beware. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of Jabber and Jack. Check him out in my, uh, my description below. Available on Amazon as well. Comes with everything you need right out of the box. And make sure you always have a USB adapter always on hand now. These are things that you're going to need um, for the future since a lot of electronics are going that route with USB-C. So make sure you have that. And that's it. All right, guys, I am signing off for now. I'm going to do some more videos and upload more content. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and all my other social media channels and also Amazon Live. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a really, really spooky and fun Halloween. Bye. Sometimes I feel alone, like a squash in a compost pile. You don't know what you want from me. You
see the pain behind my smile And I want you to see That I've got this flame burning inside me Yeah, I want you to see That you can try to come close But you might get burned So empty I'm high.